Welcome to the Man. It's yours truly, Stewie. Jay needs to fly. He's got a radio trap, not a trap house. Got a gentleman right next to me. Been waiting to interview this guy for a long time. He a young big dog. He go by the name of CO Big 30. What's up, big dog? What's up, bro? Uh, uh, what should I call you, Mr. Right? You know what I'm saying? Because nah, all the money are right. Man. You did. What's going on? Nah, man. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> got your smiling big album coming out. Real tired. So what's, the, what's the mood on album mode? Like, like, what do you do for album mode? Like, you know what I'm saying? Is it special? Like, you got to... Is it all all the music you make for the album, or, or how you do that? What's album mode like for you? You just it's 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 like it's not all the music you make. Like I'm um, when the motherfucker going album mode, and like every song they record from that point, right? That they said that's the album mode. Till they said the album now, it can be different shit. Shit you made while you was locked in, or old shit you supposed to put out. You know what I'm saying? Or fans' favorite, they heard you bumping on live or mm. whatever. You just lock in and organize all that. Get all this shit together, you know. Run through press run, do oh. interviews. Okay, it's all this part of it in the album mode. You okay. know what I'm saying? Get ready to roll out. Still King, what we looking for with this one? That that's 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 big. It's still King, King. come on now. Yeah, yeah. Let him know. I'm still there. <laughs> How you see that deal? For sure. Yeah. So what can we look for on the album? Any features or everything? I got Fred O'Bang on the album, K Cobb, but really all me, really. Okay. Do it all me. All Big Thirty. Yeah. What is like growing up in the M Town? Cause everybody got a different story. I didn't interview a lot of Memphis artists, but everybody got a different story of how growing up in Memphis like pretty much affected your life and what you got going on. I mean, it made me who I am. Mm. Like, it, I love. I won't want to be from nowhere else. I won't want to be from Hollywood. I won't. I want to be from Memphis, Tennessee. I don't feel like no place like Memphis. Mm. Like, give me, I don't feel like no city could get me prepared for this cruel world like Memphis. Mm. So is that just a, is it the violence? Is it just like snakes in the grass? Like what? You know, I need a violence or the snakes. You know, it's violence and snakes everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. Like it's just the process, the learning that phases that like, you go through, like going through our life, mm. the losses you take, like from friends. You know, the losses you take throughout the streets. You know how you climb up, two step, get knocked down, ten, just mm. all that. How you go through shit and grow through shit. Know what I'm saying? So like, you th- you went through that much at this young of age, cause you still you still young. Yeah, yeah. You start going through shit early, man. Damn. So do you think? Let me ask you a question, honestly. Do you think we was always talking about trauma, past trauma, as far as like childhood? Do you think that I was looking at Big Bang Black, and he was like, a lot of street cats need therapy. They need some counseling because of all the losses and all the stuff they've been through. Do you think that's a big thing? Like young black men need therapy. What we go through? I don't know. I thought about going to see a therapist. Okay. I ain't mad. What made you? What made you decide that? Uh, think about that. It's a lot of shit I've been through. Mm. A lot of shit I don't witness, and a lot of shit I just been through throughout. You know what I'm saying? Not even my career, just my whole life. Right. Well, big God looking out for you. Uh, I'm proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're bumping. You've been doing your thing. So what's what was growing up like? You know what I'm saying? As far as family, like mom, pops, like you know what I'm saying, brother, sister. Like how I was that. You got siblings, brother, sisters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both my mom and dad was that shit. Mm. Shit, I got yeah, sisters and shit. Yeah. How how they feel about you blowing now? Was it something they always thought of, or is they kind of used to it now? Everybody proud of me. They 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 used to it now, but on I all my life, shit, I always was been the gold ha, child, child. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't know, shit, like this shit was destined for. Mm, been doing. So like, so was it a thing where like when you popped off, did you see a lot of not not a lot of new friends trying to come in your life? Yeah, yeah. You know how that is. Yeah. <laughs> What's the best way to get rid of them? No. <laughs> you said no. Yeah. Like, what's what's the craziest thing somebody asks you? Like, bro, you don't even talk to me like that. Like, you don't even we don't even rock like that for you to be feeling like you comfortable enough to ask me for some shit like that. My this old head from my hood, nigga, don't be around no more. Nigga asked me, man, like soon as I got signed, like when I first signed to Emmy. He was like, hey, you know, hey, little Marfield, bro, give me 5000 I'm going to bring you back 15000 <laughs> What you was like, bro? Man, I thought it was funny to laugh at his ass. Man, I don't got 5000 for your ass. Well, like, well, get your ass up out of here. What are huh? yeah, you talking about, man? Kids, you got kids yet, man? I got three kids. Three? Yeah. How many more you want? Shit. You trying, don't, don't, you trying to Nick Cannon me, man? You trying to Nick Cannon, bro? I'm trying to outdo Nick Cannon. <laughs> How many is that? Shit, I don't know. I just want to have a big family. Shit. I ain't mad about that. Is it? Is it? You have a big family, in Memphis? Is that, that's what? Big family, yeah, huh? So what made you like, yo? I want, I want to have a big, big family. Cause I want to, I, I, I want my grandkids to have a lot of uncles, uncles and aunts and, and everything. Yeah. 
a lot of people they can depend on. It's just a big family. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a big family. It's just good to have family. So go, that go to school, family, go to work, family. family yeah. Out of all of them, somebody gonna be so a few of them gonna be some. Right. You know what I'm saying? So so dad life, how how do you how do you manage that? What's the age? I'm twenty four. I don't know your age, you know what I'm saying? How the how the little ones? Uh eight, two, four, and five. Well, you got a terrible two? Kicking your ass. Yeah. <laughs> which one which one the worst one? You'd be like, God, this motherfucker right here. My my baby, the young. Why is all the babies fucked up? The little ones be like, everything. they get away with everything, so it's like they be trying shit. Wait, wait, what are we doing, man? They might put waist nail, just <laughs> turn some shit over. You would give them the apple salt juice, they'll turn them up the right bottoms up in the bed. Come on, turn it right over. Stop playing, man. Look, so I seen the video, sang to him, did your thing. You know what I'm saying? You you would slide on that thing. Yeah. Shout out at Cam Kirk Studio. Yeah. Did you hit Magic City and get some wings? Yeah. I think <laughs> you yeah, man, I <laughs> on the break. For so sure. how, how was that shoot with Cam Kirk? Because, you know, he he a legendary photographer in Atlanta, like definitely a big staple in the A-Town. Sure was fun. Like, if you pay attention to the video, it was a lot of shit going on. Like, I was shooting a video while I was shooting a video and, and at a photo shoot. At a photo, y'all seen that? With my haircut and everything. Mm. Video. So you think that's a new 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 way or, or new wave just to really pretty much show you a life so people can really tap in and see you every day? Yeah, just letting them see that. Mm. I ain't really, you know what I'm saying, shooting a real, real video to it. Okay, okay. So that's definitely going down. M-Town Zone, King, still King, this Roddy. This Roddy. Three songs I need to listen to. Guaranteed. Got, got a bump. Off off real. Stay popular. Stay, okay. And watches. Okay. Amen. Big 30 out there. Big 30 out. Y'all get with the program. Scream that thing. How, how Pooh doing? I know everybody asked you about that. High spirit. He, he, high good. spirit? He shot. We don't know how to find a lot. We finna come on. Mm, what, what's one thing he told you, like, as far as, like, being proud of you of everything you've been doing now? Because you've been holding it down. Man, just keep going. I'm letting them. I they can't tell me shit about our dream and what we built. Like, just keep going with everything. Like, I don't let no nigga trick me out of my spot on the police or nothing. Stay out the way and keep rapping. You know what I'm saying? Keep putting out what we believe, man. There it is. Words from Big 30 is definitely going down. Big Stewie trapping out the trap house. Definitely going down. You did. Go on.